I wonder what this says. I bet there's a translation app on your phone that you can take a picture of it and it will tell you, but I don't know what it says. But I'm gonna open it from Temu. It's not, I thought it was Timu because we're all a team shopping, but <clears throat> now they say it's Temu. And my granddaughter, oh, she's so cute. And I said, Temu, and she goes, Temu, Temu. And then she does this little dance. I'm gonna have her do it for you, it's so cute. Well, I got another order, but I didn't get home till late. And so I'm doing this late at night. So it'll be fun though. No matter when you open the packages, it's fun, right? Even if you know what's in them, it's fun. <clears throat> Trying to clear my throat. I thought I cleared it before I started. I was thinking I could put this rice in this. Maybe this says rice holder. Timu rice holder. I wonder if each symbol is a word. I don't know. And is it Chinese, Japanese, Taiwan, Thailand, Cantonese, Mandarin? We don't know. So, <clears throat> all right, here's what it is. This is pretty cool, and I got it for $2.49. Now, I think that's good. And, you know, when I cook my rice, I have it in a thingy, and I have to dip my cup, because my recipe is two cups of rice, three cups of water. I don't buy minute rice, because to me, rice is so simple to make. Why would you need minute rice? And it's more expensive. Why do we eat rice? Because it's cheap. And then some people buy minute rice, but don't let me judge you. <clears throat> oh, that fits tight. But I'm old school. And so I do it the old fashioned way. All right, I guess they don't really clip on and it has this lid. Oh, you could put your soap in it. Look how many different things you could put in this. Okay, I'm getting it. Oh, I was going the wrong way. <laughs> look, it has a spigot. You can pour this in. And look, it has little Chinese here. I don't know what it says. And over here it says it. And then it has one cup, three fourths, half and a fourth. And then it has your other, these, if you go by this measurements. I love it. I want to buy another one. Because I, I think rice would be good in here. Because we always measure the rice to cook it. And so that measuring cup will be handy, but it would be good with soap too, because you measure your soap. If you made homemade soap, do you guys ever make homemade soap? I don't really, <clears throat> because I don't know if it really does clean as well as some of the name brand ones, and it doesn't smell as good. And since it's just Jamie and I that I do laundry for, I can afford to buy. But what I did was buy all of the ingredients, the bur whatever the recipe calls for, like the washing soda, the borax, I don't know, all the ingredients. And I have it in my storage so that if times got bad, I could make homemade soap. But right now for Jamie and I, I use whatever I can get on sale, the name brand, because it smells good and it works good. And my husband gets really dirty. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but his pants, I think he uses them for a dish towel and a rag and everything. And so I need good soap to get his clothes clean. I'm, I'm wearing my new, anyway, and look, it has a handle too. You can carry your rice or your soap or something. I like it. I want another one. Cause if one is good, two is better. I saw these people on two, on YouTube. I want to ask about this. They put their lipstick on in front of the camera and they go. Just in the front. Now, when I put lipstick on, my mother, 
It was so funny when my mother would put lipstick on like in front of people, even if we're at her house and she's there or in church or something, she would always go like this and put her lipstick on. Mother, we know what you're doing behind your hand. So every time I put lipstick on in front of people, I always want to do this. And she's so cute. My mother's hands are so little and she wore rings like me. I get it from my mother because she did it too, but she wore gold. And she was just the best thing ever. So poised and always sitting so nicely. And, you know, sometimes I sit with my leg up like this. My mother would never do that. Ever. Because she was, like, proper. <clears throat> okay. So, when I put lipstick on, I go, I have my mirror over here. All to the edge. To the edge. I start on one edge, go to the other edge. I don't just put it here. Maybe they're just doing that on camera so you can just see it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at a professional. Prof I wonder if they have a YouTube channel. Professional lipstick putter on her. I have to look that up. All right. And this lipstick is like grease with glitter in it. Look how pretty it is. It's from Temu, Timu, Temu, but it's not a good, it feels good on, but it lasts about, by the time the show's over, it will be gone. All right, here's my project today. Because Credence, oh my heck, look what I did, how I glued that on. Oh, straight up, what was I doing? Must have been talking to somebody. It's supposed to go down here. This way. I got to do it again. Anyway, Credence came and brought me all these pieces. And he goes, sorry, it's broke. I stepped on it. And so I have these pieces he brought me. I don't know what they go to because my dollhouse furniture. I'm going to have to go out there and search what it's to. Because, you know, I can't. These are so nice. My daughter-in-law gave it to me one year, and it's such nice furniture. I want them to be good. And sometimes I gather them up and put them away. But I thought they were old enough to be taken care of it. What else did I buy? I was just watching Diane at Mimi's Life. She's cute. She has a lot more subscribers than me, like over 5,000, which I'm glad she does because... She's raising those three granddaughters. She's going to be so blessed for that. And her son lives there with his little girl. And, oh, I like her. Anyway, and she has a cute Texas accent. I don't know. Somebody said they liked listening to my accent. I didn't know I had an accent. Well, my husband does. Corn? No, he says Carn. Star? No, he says store. I'm going up to the star, and I said, why are you going to the star? Because we have a star on the mountain up there. And then he goes, the store. We'll say store then. I'll say star. He goes, well, he's laying in bed years ago, and he goes, honey, I think you married a dark. I'm going, married a dark? And I'm looking at him. You're not very dark, because, you know, he's more blonde, man. All my husbands were more blonde men, and I always wanted a dark, tall, dark, handsome. They were all blonde. I didn't pick that out about them. I liked them, and they just happened to be a lighter color. And my first husband, he was kind of redheadish, red beard and stuff, but none of my kids turned out redheaded, which means I don't have one redheaded, oh, sorry, one redheaded bone gene in my body because none of my, it didn't pass down. But my ex-husband's brothers, I mean sisters, they have red-headed kids. Forgot what I was saying. But anyway, they were all, anyway, he said, I think you married a dark. He repeated it again. And I said, I don't think so. And then he, I said, and then he said it again. I said, you mean dork? Yeah, that's what you married, a dork. I'm like, then say dork, not dark, because you're not dark. So he has an accent. But I can just see Jamie in school, you know, carrying his books like this with his boots. They always, no, not cowboy boots, not cool boots, but 
like mason boots that were going to last, you know, forever. Carrying, running down the hall, carrying his books because he loves science and all that stuff. He's five years older than me, so I never would really have looked at him. He would be too old in high school. Oh, you are too old for me to look at you. My mother would never let me date an older man, although my dad was five years older than my mother, and Jamie's dad was five years older than his mother. So that's funny, because now I'm five years older. But Jamie's first wife was probably his age, and... My other husbands, my first husband was like a year and a half older than me. And my second husband was 15 years older than me. I was 26 and he was 15 years older when I married him. All right, I'm so happy because I made a mistake and this time I'm happy about it because I got him for $7 and 67 cents. I got him again and I wanted some more and I went and looked and they were so much more money. But I love them. Look at the bowls. They have like edges on them for spaghetti. So now I have eight of everything. Except these look a little, the other ones were white, white. These look more beige, but I don't care. But for seven, 67 but now they're a lot more money i'm very sorry but they come in black too but i didn't want black because we have such hard water like i have a black sink and i love it so much i my old sink was black too and then when we got our new uh, granite countertops which when we built the house here's a story for you when we built our house the countertops are like the last thing you put in your house to finish it. Your carpets, the flooring, the countertops, the faucets, the doorknobs. Anyway, well, we were getting low on money at that point. And so my husband goes, we are just going to have to get for Micah. Oh, this is a nice house. I didn't want for Micah. I wanted high-end stuff. Isn't that naughty of me? But anyway... You know, I didn't have much choice. If you don't have money, you don't. And then he said, don't worry, honey, because eventually we will get granite because I wanted granite. But one lady said, oh, don't ever get granite. You'll get cancer from it. I never thought, I never knew about that. You can get cancer from anything. One lady told me that these little baby clothes from China, they have, oh, I wouldn't put them on my baby. Well, I'm going to wash them first. And if you buy Walmart clothes, they're from China for your babies. So maybe the toys might have lead in them. But I think you can buy something to test to see if they're lead in it. But they said our Corningware dishes, the paint they used on the, you know, the Corningware has lead in it. We're supposed to get rid of all of them and start over. Well, now I got these. It's probably the same thing. I don't know. I just don't know if you have, can be so fanatical about everything and worried. And I just like think you should be more worried about don't smoke and don't drink and don't do drugs. That's what I never did because I was worried about that. So anyway, what was I talking about? What am I doing? Anyway, I got those dishes for seven sixty seven, but they don't have them anymore, so don't get excited. But I've always seen them go back on sale because they want to make money from us. Okay, now the next thing. You know how I bought 10 dresses? That 10 dresses plus size dress video I made, last I looked, it had 49,000 views. Who's watching it? They're not subscribing to me, that's for sure. If you watch me, you need to subscribe because that's only fair. I had to change clothes 10 times and take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. And I'm 69. That is hard work. And so to me, if you watch it, you need to subscribe to me. It won't hurt you. And my husband gets so mad. It sounds like you're begging for people to subscribe because his people, David Alexander, is his favorite. YouTube. 
they don't have to ask to subscribe. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I have to ask because in the beginning I didn't and nobody said anything. I mean, nobody subscribed much. Okay, these were $7.23. Then I looked today, I wasn't going to buy more. And then I looked today, they're $5.00. Ten hangers. My closet, years ago, I switched to just these velvet hangers because I thought they would take up less hang room because they're narrow. And it might be true. And then, but this right here, you have to be careful because sometimes it comes out. And I threw the first ones away and then one came out and I said, why can't I glue it with my... E6000 glue and then put it in there and it will be, you might not be able to turn it, but I don't need to turn it. So I tried gluing them. So now I glue them if they come out, but I was getting all black ones and then I got some pink ones and then I got, these were the cheaper colors. So I had to get this color. I don't care what color they are. My clothes are on them, but cause I ordered 10 new dresses and then I have a few more coats. I had to buy some more of these. And I know you're thinking, why didn't you just throw some old stuff away? I'm going to. But in the meantime, I want everything hanging because I'm not going to just leave it in a pile somewhere or, you know, I want them all hanging before I go through it. Then I'll have extra hangers. And then I could throw away because my husband has, I let him have the old hangers. <laughs> he doesn't care. He didn't need velvet hangers. So he has those old, you know, cheap ones. So I figure if I get too many hangers because I give it away too many clothes, then I will upgrade him to these nice hangers. But he would tell me, don't buy any new ones. Because when his daughter died, we had to go through her clothes, you know. It was so sad going through somebody's clothes when they die. And you think, I wonder if this was their favorite. I wonder if they liked this one. And, oh, why did they buy that ugly thing? No, and so I think about when I die and they go through my clothes. Oh, look, a tag's on it. They still never wore it. Oh, she hung this one up and it doesn't even look clean. Oh, you know, they're going to go through all of that with my clothes. Or will they just scoop them all up, my daughters? I told my two daughters, you do not let anybody else go through my stuff. I don't want the stepsons in here, the stepdaughter in here. They're not allowed in my bedroom because I want my daughters to go through my stuff and purge it. Now, they get to keep what they want first. I put this in my will. The daughters keep the jewelry, whatever they want first. What they don't want, then the granddaughters can come in and get what they want because I don't want any man, boy. Well, Trevor, I would trust Trevor. I don't know, Cameron. He Cameron would get rid of everything, probably. Tyson, I don't know about Tyson. Chad, he would want to just burn it all. He's like Jamie. Burn it all. They don't have any value in anything that, you know, is collectible or anything. Although Jamie has his collections. Animal, his zebras, his animals, his fish, you know. He has a lot of collections. His books, his encyclopedias, his... I could go on and on. All right. I noticed this that I got next was sold out. But they do have another company selling it. And I think it's going to be fun. So I ordered another one because there's two of us. And I paid... Um, oh, I didn't... I know I wrote it down. Sold out. Oh, uh, 2 49 Oh, what is it? What is it? Look, it could be a hat, like, for Halloween, for Easter, my Easter hat. You could put flowers on it and then put a string around here and tie it. That's not what it is. My sister, when she was little, I was so jealous. When she was eight, she got to have a birthday party. I wanted, always wanted a birthday party. I had one, but nobody came. I told that sad story before. Devastated me, ruined me for life. Nobody came to my birthday party. So I never wanted to have another invite anybody over ever again because I knew they wouldn't show up. And why would they show up for me? It like ruined my self-esteem. 
And I just saw recently this lady on YouTube and her little girl, she was having the party at a ice cream or I don't know, someplace. And nobody came to her birthday party. So she quickly went on Facebook and invited, you know, everybody, didn't people she didn't even know. And then they all came. But back then we didn't have Facebook and mother didn't call anybody to come and play with me and come, please come to Angela's party. And I wanted to do that for Jamie because he invited all these people over because he wanted to talk about his theory with them. And he was already, he had his visual aids out and everything and nobody came. Oh, and he was so sad. He goes, I don't think they're coming. And I said, well, honey, just go take a nap and you'll hear the doorbell if someone, if they come, they never came. He goes, nobody wants to hear me. So then Sunday, he's inviting everybody over after church to come to talk to him. And of course, everybody, oh, we got family coming over because they know Jamie and they just don't, he might be boring. So they don't want to come. But two people, three people, a husband and wife and another guy, they did come. And then he's telling him, but then the lady, it didn't go well for him because they argued with him about his theory. And so then he came to bed discouraged. I'm just not going to tell any, talk about it anymore to anybody. And they just don't care. And I'm offering them candy and they won't even take it. And I try to tell him, honey, people don't, some people aren't interested. It's pretty sad. So if somebody invites you to a party, go. All right, but my sister had the party. I didn't finish the home. And it was, her birthday's April 2nd, Shauna. She's like, my sister was my twin, but my mother couldn't have twins, so we had to be born a year and a half apart. But we were really, really close growing up. So anyway, she got to have a birthday party in the summer, and it was Easter was the theme. And so they took paper plates, you know, just those cheap ones, and they put... She had all this stuff to decorate with, you know, artificial flowers and crepe paper and everything. And they made little hats out of the paper plates with straight ribbon. And that was their party favorite activity. Wasn't that cute? That was such a good idea. But my daughter, her birthday was in... Some people say they like to hear me talk and tell stories. So this is it. Because I did, this is not a very big haul. But my daughter, her birthday is December 9th. So I had to have a party for her and I was poor and everything. So what are we going to do? And it was a slumber party, birthday party. So I had him sew shorts and, you know, it was just the one piece pattern that you make shorts out of. And so each one got to come and I helped him on the sewing machine and they made their own shorts to put an elastic through the casing and and then I made, they made cookies. I made the cookies ahead of time and they got to frost them with all the colors and take the plate of cookies home. So that was a very, those little girls loved that party. And it didn't cost me much because I just had scraps of fabric and I had food stamps at the time. So, you know, frosting, homemade frosting though, and the homemade cookies didn't cost me much. Now I have this headband from Temu. I like it because after a while, when you wear this kind, it starts cutting into your head and you think, has my head grown? Is my head bigger than it was this morning? Cause it's hurting. But this one is like this and I like it. So I went on there to order uh, oh, and look, I didn't notice this. It's adjustable right here. So I went, it's sold out, but they had other ones. So I went and ordered another one, hopefully in a better color that matches me. So this is for microwave oven use only. Okay, let's try it. Since I have dishes right here. All right, you get your soup, your leftovers, your mac and cheese. Look. Put it in the microwave and cook it. Then you pull it out. I want crackers. I need crackers to go with my soup. So then you put your other food, your silverware all around it. Out to the living room to watch your movie. In your bed to watch your movie with your soup. Or your ice cream and cookies or whatever. I know my husband's going to love it. Oh, here, another story I have to tell you. 
he, for some reason, we I made pancakes. I don't remember why or what time of day or anything. But he had the plate of pancakes, bringing them out with his milk. Because he, has, he hasn't been weaned yet. And he has to drink milk with everything he eats. Because he milked cows. So, you know, when I married, it was like we had to save the milk for breakfast, for cereal, you know. But not him. They could have an abundance of milk and cream all they wanted. So, uh, he came out carrying his pancakes with the syrup. And he kind of like tilted it. And here the syrup ran all down inside his chair. Thank you, Jamie. That was a lovely mess to clean up. But I made mistakes too. So I didn't come out on him too hard. Look at this big one. They couldn't put this into the lot. My, you know, they usually put them in a locker, post office cubby locker, and then they put the key in your post office box. But this one, they couldn't. So they... Uh, I had a slip and I had to go wait in line to get it. And I was so lucky because I paid $5.80 if you got the gray, but the other colors, two colors were more money, which I don't remember what the other two colors were. But I got this one and because I didn't care what color. But now it sells for $25.19. Well, it sold for that then too, the other colors. But I... I got it for five eighty, same thing, but different color. And I said, I don't care what color, I'm getting it. So I bought two of them, one for me and one for Jamie on his account. So now they're more money, but they might go on sale again, but I got to show it. Did you guys get one when you saw it? Okay. I don't know what the words are, but here's what it is. This is going to be perfect for the RV. And what I have, my other one opened up down here. I put my sewing in here, my mending that I need to do for people. Because then it's all in one container instead of stuffed in the chair. And when it's done, I can just fold this up and put it behind my chair or something. Okay, it opens up like this. In wonderful invention ever. Look at it. So regular price is $25. And then when you want to fold it up because your laundry's done in the RV and you put it away, and then you just do this. And this comes out. So if you don't want to, but I want it connected. But anyway, for $5.80. I could just, you know, traveling in the car when you go somewhere, take your stuff out, your groceries. It's going to be the handiest thing. And then when it's empty, just carry it like this. I, I think it would be worth $25. And then the pretty pink one or blue one, that was like $28. So if you see them on sale for $5.80, I'm so glad I got two of them. And those dishes too. So I'm sorry to tell you something so great and you can't get it. Isn't that mean? Now you're going to unsubscribe and that's going to take away other two unsubscribers. And <sighs> I'm sorry. But keep looking because maybe you will get it. And I like everything I got, even though it wasn't much. But it was fun to get and it was fun to make a haul tonight before I go to bed. So everybody put a like. And subscribe, and I'll come back again. Goodbye.